The Renfurly Shield, affectionately known as the Loggerwood, is the country's premier trophy in interprovincial rugby and is competed for on a challenge basis. Every weekend during the latter part of the football season, a challenging team with supporters invades the holders of the Shield's territory in an attempt to take it home. Rugby fans will travel hundreds of miles to see a challenge and are not backward in showing who they support. The heroes of the day, the players, watch the carry-on from their hotel balcony. After the morning procession, which is a show of strength by the supporters, most of them make for the nearest hotel to await the start of the game and the hijinks carry on. The tradition of the Ranfurly Shield goes back to 1901, when His Excellency, the Earl of Ranfurly, the then Governor of New Zealand, presented the trophy for interprovincial competition. Many fans consider a Shield game an ideal opportunity for a good time. Others treat the game with its true reverence, and as the stands fill up, the teams are given their last-minute instructions. The team talk is a serious business, the coach trying to talk his troops into giving everything in the ensuing battle. It's not necessary for me to tell you, blacks, just how important this game is. Now, we've got the advantage of having the wind in the first spell, and we'll use it. We'll use everything in our power to dominate this game and get the points that we need. Now, the ball coming in from the wing three quarters have got to go to our line out forwards and go just exactly as we want it. And when we get it, Nev, we want you to use that ball, get it back to ice at half back, and then ice, you judge the play. The good stuff you'll put out through our backs, and we'll use it to the best advantage that we possibly can. Anything that's scruffy, slam it away to touch and we'll start the thing over again. Now these blokes have got a tremendous pattern. And their pattern of play, we've got to upset. So any ball that they win in the line-out, any of their line-out ball, has got to be put on the deck. Put the player on the deck, put the ball on the deck, and you've got to get through. Now Junior, if you can't get through, if you can't get your body through, put your dirty big number nine through, right under his nose. Any of that ball that their halfback gets, I want the ball and two men with it. Now don't let them get away with this. Pressure then from our uh, back of our line-out, onto their 5 8 so that any of that scruffy ball gets lost out there, gets put on the deck, and then Graham, you've got to be in on it in a flash. Up with it, Freddie, and that ball that they've won, we want to get that ball and we want to use it. Righto? Representative matches, whether they be provincial or international, are big business, and enormous sums of money are collected at the gates. During the 1965 Springbok Tour, the 13 provincial unions, as well as the New Zealand Rugby Union, which controls the sport at the national level, shared over a third of a million pounds in gate takings. We asked Mr Tom Morrison, chairman of the New Zealand Rugby Union, what happens to this money. Rugby is an amateur game, the players are amateur, and the administrators who administrate the game are amateurs, all in it for the love of the game. The figure mentioned uh, of the returns of the South African tour in 1965, of course, are subject to the cost of the tour, which must be taken off that. Now, money that is surplus and uh, is available for the New Zealand Rugby Union to distribute for the good of the game is spent in improved facilities for the players, uh, ground accommodation, covered seating accommodation, and the likes. And any further monies that are surplus are used to further the game. In other words, all monies that are taken at rugby are accounted for in the sense that it is ploughed back into the game itself. Rugby has a big following, 
because most males in this crowd would have played the game at some time or another and know all the finer points of the sport. As spectators, they come and pay big money to see good open rugby and are usually not disappointed at a shield match.